in order to safeguard their crews, cargo, and vessels from pirates and other threats. Cargo ships deploy a variety of defensive techniques and technological solutions. These preventative actions are absolutely necessary in order to reduce the possibility of being attacked by pirates, in particular in high-risk regions like the Gulf of Aden, the Indian Ocean, and the waterways off the coast of West Africa. In most cases, a combination of physical, operational, and technical safeguards is used. However, the precise procedures may differ from shipping company to shipping business and from region to region. In this video, I will explain how cargo ships defend against pirates. The use of naval escorts is a crucial component in the overall strategy of defending against pirates. Cargo ships frequently make requests for the participation of naval forces from multinational coalitions or private security corporations while they are operating in high-risk zones. These escorts offer an additional layer of safety since they are equipped with the knowledge, resources, and authority necessary to effectively combat the risks posed by piracy. Pirate vessels can be dissuaded from attacking cargo ships by the presence of naval warships, which can also provide assistance in the event of an attack. The simple act of having a naval escort present can dramatically lower the probability of being targeted by pirates. Additionally, cargo ships set up tight perimeters by employing various kinds of physical obstacles and deterrents. These precautions are designed to make it more difficult for pirates to get access to sensitive areas of the ship, such as the lodging rooms, the engine room, and the bridge. It is usual practice to strengthen these regions by erecting electric fences, barbed wire fences, and reinforced barriers. By placing obstructions in their path, pirates are discouraged from attempting to board the vessel, which buys the crew vital time to respond and seek outside assistance. Another essential component of successfully fending off pirates is to practice a high level of vigilance at all times. Crew members are taught to be attentive and aware at all times, but especially in regions with a high potential for danger. They regularly monitor their surroundings using a variety of surveillance methods, such as radar, sonar, and visual monitoring, in order to look for any suspicious actions or incoming vessels. Any indication of a possible threat is reported without delay to the appropriate authorities or the ship's security crew, whichever is applicable. To avoid being attacked by pirates, speed and maneuverability are two very important factors to consider. It is possible for cargo ships to increase their speed and engage in evasive maneuvers in order to make it difficult for pirates to approach and board the vessel. Ships can generate distance between themselves and an approaching pirate vessel by changing their direction, zigzagging, or raising their speed, which also lowers the likelihood that the pirates would successfully board the ship. In addition, cargo ships have the ability to seek sanctuary in specially designated safe rooms or citadels, which are fortified spaces within which the crew can take shelter in the event of an assault. These secure locations come furnished with means of communication, provisions, and even firearms for use in self-defense, depending on the circumstances. It is common practice for cargo ships to employ non-lethal deterrents as a means of protecting their cargo from pirates. Some examples of non-lethal technologies that are used to disorient and dissuade pirates without causing serious harm include high-pressure water cans, audio devices, and intense searchlights. The deployment of water cannons allows for the creation of a physical barrier, the disruption of the pirate's capacity to maneuver, and the deterrence of their approach. Acoustic devices send out high-frequency noises that are irritating to humans. These noises act as a deterrent and have the ability to throw off their target's sense of direction. By using powerful searchlights to illuminate the surrounding region, it is possible to make it more difficult for pirates to operate clandestinely under the cover of night. The enhancement of cargo ships' defensive capabilities is significantly aided by the application of technology. For the purpose of locating and monitoring possible dangers, sophisticated surveillance technologies such as radar, thermal imaging cameras, and automated identification systems AIS, are frequently utilized. Radar devices provide information about vessels in the surrounding area, whereas thermal imaging cameras may spot individuals or small boats even in low-light conditions. AIS enables vessels to communicate with one another regarding their identifiers, positions, and navigational information. This results in improved situational awareness 
and the capacity to recognize possible dangers posed by other vessels. In addition, the use of best management practices, BMP, that have been designed particularly to handle the risks of piracy is beneficial to cargo ships. The best management practices, BMP, give rules and suggestions for the design of routes, onboard safety measures, and communication protocols. These practices are continually updated based on the shifting nature of the threat posed by piracy and integrate the lessons that have been gained from previous events. Ships are able to minimize their vulnerabilities and optimize their defense methods against attacks by pirates if they adhere to best management practices, BMP. Training of the crew is one of the most important components of cargo ship defense against pirates. The members of the crew receive specialized training to improve their grasp of the dangers posed by piracy, as well as defensive strategies and emergency response protocols. Training program teach participants skills in areas such as situational awareness, crisis management, and various forms of self-defense. It is possible for crew members to properly respond to any dangers posed by pirates and safeguard themselves, their fellow crew members, and the ship by providing them with the knowledge and skills that are necessary. In spite of the installation of these preventative measures, piracy continues to be a persistent concern in some geographic areas. This is an important point to keep in mind. Because of this, maritime firms, governments, and international organizations are continuing to work together on the development of new tactics and initiatives to effectively combat piracy. These efforts include the sharing of information, the collecting of intelligence, the coordination of patrols, and the establishment of legal frameworks for the prosecution of pirates. The ultimate objective is to establish a safe marine environment in which cargo ships are able to operate in a way that is both effective and safe in order to maintain a continuous flow of international trade. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, you should subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future ones.